Do you know me? I'm Kim in Canada. How's it going? Oh. It is April 19th, 2019. Hi. It's been a while, hasn't it? Totally. Totally. Yeah. Um, I fell off the floss tube train. Did you hear that bump? Yeah, that was me. Um, I, I think I got, I OD'd on floss tube. I watch so much floss tube and I was just like, I can't watch anymore. And then that took my stitchy bug for a wee bit. And in that case, it took my video, videoing bug away. So yeah, sorry. But I'm here now, which is important. Yes. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm gonna do this up front instead of saving for the last. I wanna thank all the subscribers, all the new and old. You're both important, you know. And all your comments and your likes and oh, you guys are wonderful. And and for those who checked up on me, make sure I was still kicking. I'm still kicking. So much so we get to do round two. My knee. The the right one's now going to be done in June. So yay. <sighs> I don't think work's gonna like it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. If it gets me out of being in pain, that's what I'm gonna do. Go me. Other than that, I'm doing good. I'm doing real good. Um, staying out of trouble. I am back to stitching. Uh, if you follow me on my Instagram, uh, Kim and Canada A E H, then you'll see everything that I've been doing. Everything. So. What I'm gonna do first off is show you my finishes. I've had a couple, not all stitchy. Yeah, I'm even gonna show you those. What the heck? Live life on the edge. This is really weird because I'm wearing my glasses and, oh no, excuse me. And she's back. I haven't changed. I'm still the Crazy Kim of Canada. Maybe I should change my name, my name to that. Crazy Kim of Canada. No, there's too many of us. So I was doing this for my husband. Ink circles, arranging lures. He knew I was doing it. This was one of my um, 12, 12 starts of Startmas. Remember that last year? It was in all the papers. I'm gonna do this. Anyways, so I did this using Leek's Dye Works and 32 count lentil linen. I finished. Finished this back in February actually. Haven't FFO'd it because you know I like to procrastinate. So there she be in all her glory. Now I did switch up some of the colors and whatnot and where they were supposed to go because again, I gotta be me. I gotta be me. You're welcome. I'm not gonna bother putting away too much crinkle. The other one that I started for my stitch miss, except for this, and if you've had headphones, there is gonna be some crinkling, but I'm gonna try and keep it down to a minimum. Minimum. Is the Lizzie Cates Dog Lessons for People. Doing this for my sister-in-law, who has a dog agility training business. This is done on 28 count printed paws. Uh, you can get it somewhere where I'm not sure I got from my LNS. There's a couple of Facebook groups that do this sort of thing. But, oh, uh, can you see? There we go. I used uh, some Weeks Dye Works, some DMC, and a couple years ago I, I went to a secondhand store and found Russian cotton embroidery thread and there's that involved uh, with this one I am going to do it again so I'm not passing the stash just yet same with the arranging lures I have another person that I think that would be good for so 
Sorry, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, not at this time. My other few finishes, because, you know, hashtag no news starts 2019, before that even started, I put an amendment in there that I could do a couple of Bisconius if I wished. But once I started them, I had to finish them. Because I had that rotation of four days of full coverage and then three days of willy-nilly. Yeah, that's out the flipping window. Close the window. It's gone. Say bye-bye. So, <laughs> I did this little bit of you. It's just an easy peasy. See that green part? That was a pain in the tuchus. Let me tell you. So, I did that one. And if I ever say I'm going to do a 15-sided Biscornio again, please remind me of this one and the angst that it caused me. Thank you. My very sparkly and beady 15-sided Biscornio that I had put together, went to go, started stuffing it, and then realized I had assembled it wrong. <laughs> so yeah. I do love it though. I do love it. So, finishes. Whoop, whoop. Look at me go. I really gotta get my glasses changed because I'm sitting a fair distance and you're still blurry. Uh huh. Not good. So, in no particular order because I can and I don't remember the order, even though I wrote it down. So yeah. So way back when I had a rotation, um, I was doing my first two weeks of the month, the first four, first, two weeks, four days out of the first two weeks, uh, okay, never mind. I was doing full coverage with Jen to help support her and her endeavors of getting so many stitches done. This is actually a full covered coverage piece. It's Mira's Santa. And I'm doing it on 18 count ivory. Yeah. And uno momento. Yay. This is how big it's going to be. Lighting gods are not what they're supposed to be because it's cloudy here. We're supposed to get a boatload of rain in the next three days. Yeah, my head's already starting to pound. <sighs> so that's what I got done. That's how big it's going to be. Is she going to continue with it? don't know when because I have a lot of whips not as many as some of you I know that but for me and my anxiety it's too many <sighs> so I am going to put these away as I'm again finish finish showing them to you because a girl doesn't have that kind of time to clean up because <laughs> I have to go Easter shopping for grandchildren's Speaking of grandchildrens, segue. Did I tell you I was going to be a grandma again? My eldest daughter, we found out that she's having a little girl. Yay! So there will be a birth record being made this year. So, so good for no new starts, huh? The other thing. I know, it's me. Try living in this 24 seven, okay? So, last week talked, I'm sorry, I blocked the view. Um, I was doing the Bird Ink Circles Floral Puzzle, Geometry Puzzle something or other, I don't know. And it was a whole bunch of different colors and I went, nah. -uh. So I'm doing it on one color on Queen Anne's Lace. Uh, I believe it's 32 or 28. No, it looks like 28 count. Queen Anne Lace, I'm using 3722 as the one and only color. 
Da -da. This part here is what I did. If I have to go someplace and I, I want to stitch, then I'll take this um, or I'll take knitting. And some of you have been watching my car knitting on my Instagram. Oh yeah. Taking people's, little people's speech therapy. So that's cool. Next project is my cute birds in the hood. It's a channeling kit. I got like oodles forever ago. Uh, 1998. Ooh, she'd be an oldie. And there we go. That's the whole thing. Yeah, you see me doing this? Now you're clear. If I have to hold bifocals. But look straight on, I can't. You know, fuzzy as all get out. I haven't been drinking yet. I mean, it is only 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> so, this is being done on a 32 count Belfast linen called Smoky Pearl. And I'm halfway done and I'm back stitching as I go. Oh, excuse the wrinkles. I'm not ironing. I'm not that organized to have my iron out. I don't have the room in this tiny shoe box of an apartment. So yeah, there we go. And that's back stitched as I go. So I'm pretty thrilled with that. Uh, it was on bars, but thing is, when I have my surgery, I have this giant ottoman that I prop my leg up. When I sit on a couch, I prop my leg up and I can't get my stand towards me. So if I wanted to work on something, I had to go on a hoop because the Q-snap was too heavy. So yeah. I know, excuses, excuses, excuses. We're done. <laughs> so, yeah. pardon. I love my projects, that's why I toss them. My next, <laughs> ah, you're welcome. My next project I did was Gracewood Stitches Log Cabin. I have all four seasons. Have I started? I've started all four seasons. This was a spring. Oh, glare. You can still get these, either from Grace Wood or I think Poppy's Creations, I believe, still carries these. I got mine off of 123Stitch um, way back in the day. So if I'm doing, it goes like, hang on. No, it goes, you were in the wrong spot, right? Yeah, there we go. Ta -da. And that's what I've got done. This is one over one on 28 count Lugana antique white. Yeah, one over one. Okay. You know how I said about the um, the uh, 15 sided Biscornia? If you hear me in the near future saying, I'm going to do this on 32 count one over one, no, no, just say no. Oh my Lanta, seriously, serially. Now, again, back to Jen. No, she, I still wanted to try and go with her with her journey of full coverage because she's doing Little Red Riding Hood, which looks fabulous. You should go. Instagram here of Miska Jen. I had this little doodad in my stash PDFs. I have since printed this out plus the first page. This is a heaven and earth. It's a mini. So it's spiny woodland hopper. Yeah. So that's one of my full coverages that I'm doing. And I am doing this oh, pug fibers. I'm not swearing, I'm just saying pug fibers. 
I'm doing this one color, doing the one page, one color at a time without a PDF. I'm doing paper. And that's what I've got done. See, here is part of that wing. Go me! It's, it was fun. Um, actually, I was listening to uh, Agatha Christie audiobooks while I was doing this one. So, I listened to a lot of audiobooks, let me tell you. Oh my gosh. Um, audiobooks, I've been watching, I what, like I said, I've been watching a lot of Floss Tube, but I got, I OD'd on Floss Tube, I couldn't, just a whole lot of nope on that. So, I've been doing a lot of Netflixing, some Amazon Prime, and following other, sorry for the noise, I'm following other podcasters. So, and... I've forgotten my one of my projects, but it's no big deal. I hardly got anything done on it. <sighs> Speaking of old whips, this is about three or four years old. This is from Clouds Factory. It's the Star Trek pillow sampler. I'm doing this for my brother-in-law. Hopefully I'll have it done because I've decided to give it to him for his birthday in October, November. One of those months. I'm doing this on Enchanting Layers fabric. Okay. Uno momento. That's it. Ooh. It is called... Oh, Blue Frost. It's a 28 count Lugana opalescence. There we go. And that's what that looks like. Are you having fun yet? Yes, you are. Oops. Oops, the doodles. That goes back in there. Alrighty then. My. This next project, you will have, I think it was the second floss tube I ever did. I held out this kit. I think I also hold it out for Jessie Marie's birthday sale. This is my Stitch Mania slash Jessie Marie's sale because there's a bulldog in it. Four. This has got to get done. It's over 27 years old. Almost 30, I'd say. And besides, I've got the cat version to go with it, so I want to start that one because they don't stitch themselves in the box. So this is my Magnificent Seven. I don't know if you can still get this. I think you can, but don't quote me. And I wouldn't ask me for the pattern because when I started this 27 to 30 years ago, I didn't have... Um, access to a photocopying machine. I didn't know you were supposed to photocopy to do, use a working copy, so I'm marking on the original. So, sorry. I am doing it on the original 14 count beigey brown Ada. See, there's four. So, yeah, this is going to get done. Yeah, it is. Because I have way too many projects to do. And that's the whole reason I was doing the um, no, no New Starts 2019. Because I have a lot of whips already. And I'm not working on them. I'm starting all the new things. I know, like Kim, you're starting with school news. I know, sometimes you do need a small start. To... to re-energize your mojo. So, what else is happening? I got some stitchy mail. Would you like to see my stitchy mail? 
One came all the way from Australia. Hi, Carrie. Look down here. Here's her name. Instagram name. Mm. Pardon? She spoiled me. Oh, yeah. I, okay. She sent it in a nice little bubble packaging. It was cute. It was here within a month. I went to the dollar store. Actually, Hubby went to the dollar store and bought a box about so big, so big, you know, almost three months it took. So if you went to, want to send something to Australia, don't send a box. You're welcome. So what did Carrie send you, Kim? Carrie sent me this lovely card. It was so beautiful. And there was a nice little note inside. My card to her was not as nice because have you met me yet? <laughs> it was bad. Oh, I told you, don't even open the card. Just toss the card. You don't need to see it. It was bad. <laughs> she also sent this pin, which I'm gonna turn into a needle minder. It says cross stitch for when you just want to stab something 10,000 times. There. I also got a Seju postcard, which I guess could also be, there's no, it's a postcard, it's pretty. She also sent me, oh, um, this cotton thread. I love the colors. It's called whiskey. So pretty. And then, how she did this, I don't know because I know I couldn't do that. This stuff. She made me a little keychain, but I'm not going to use it as a keychain because I will lose this little sucker. A itty bitty biscotti. Look at that. Isn't that just precious? Even my husband says, "How did she do that?" I don't know. Here's the back. Oh, it's so cute. It lives over here, or it will live over here. And then, and then, Candace. Candace! Didn't scream this time, girlfriend. It's all good. You're welcome. She did this pattern, and I commented. She was showing it on Instagram. And she says, I'm done. Would you like to have this pattern? I said, oh! Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. That'd be lovely. Thank you. Gave her my address and she I got hers. And she sent me this. It's called Lovely Garden, designed by Cassandra Cozelli. No. Butcher of names. Thy name is Kim. I'm not sure when I'm gonna start this, but it is lovely. So but what she also did this girl's got some patience because she went back and saw my very first video. I went back and watched my very first video and went, ew. <sighs> if people watch the first one before they've met me, I don't think they'd watch the rest. But anyways, I digressed. In that video, I did the Know Your Needle Worker tag and mentioned that my favorite movie was The Fifth Element. what she did now what she did do is she didn't assemble it I assembled it so it was just two pieces of fabric and the extra floss but she did that for me isn't that sweet oh I added the buttons that I had and stitched it up it was so sweet thank you Candace so it I was having a real downer day and I saw this I dropped everything and Put that together. Made me smile. Thank you. Stitchers are the best friends. You're welcome. <laughs> now for the purchases. Barely anything. I went to Michael's and bought a 75 cent skein of floss. Woo. I back in January, I think it was, I was on Etsy. I saw this. This has been 
almost like surgically cut from a magazine. Um, I don't. Did I ever? Did I ever look? Cross stitch gold. That's what it's from. But I don't see a year. Just cross stitch gold. Yeah, it's called Tudor Tapestry. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a hold of Crafty Patty. Do you, you, you make bell pull holders, girl? You and your husband might be contacting you. Oh, so that's it. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I'm not gonna do it on this. They have it done on a, a 14 count burnt orange or something like that. I don't have 14 count burnt orange. What I do have is a bam in your face orange, bright orange, 32 count linen. I'm not going to do it on a bam in your face bright orange. I will probably coffee tea diet or, or re over diet with some brown. Just tone that sucker down. I didn't just do that. Don't judge me. <laughs> the other thing I bought, um, one of the floss tubers I, I have been watching is Stitching Jewels. She has some really gorgeous fabrics, not fabrics, cross stitch pieces, but they're huge. I mean huge. And a couple of these pieces that she's done is from Ronnie Rowe. And so I went to searching for Ronnie Rowe and I found this. I said, where have you been all my life? It's one color. It's black and white. You should go check out Ronnie Rowe. So, yeah. That's called The Music Teacher's House. I fell in love with it. It came home to me. And that's it for cross stitch. I know. Two months, you think I'd have more done. Well, I've been knitting. Not a lot. But remember that mystery wool that I, mystery wool, mystery yarn I had? Well, I made a hitchhiker shawl out of it. And Jen had sent me some yarn. And this, this wasn't going to be big enough, so I added some of the orange that she sent me. It doesn't go with this shirt, and I have to take lessons on how to put this on. Maybe I'll call it Jessie Marie, because <laughs> I don't know how to wear all this, but I like it. It goes really good if I'm wearing a black shirt. Yeah. Then, my husband says, when are you going to knit me some socks? You promised like a year ago. All right, I'll knit you some socks. Now, he did pick out the yarn. And I finished one. So I have a hoe. Half off. Half on? I don't know. They, they call it a hoe. Mm. So, that's one. And I started the second one. So he doesn't have to hop around. This is Lion Brand's Sock Ease. And I've got one whole sock plus this much. I still got tons. I might be able to do like a, a third sock just in case something happens to one of the other ones. You always have to have a spare in life. Knitting's done. I did do some other knitting, but I'm not so thrilled with it, so I'm not gonna show you. Now, the last little bit of wonderfulness, if you remember correctly, as I reached down over and over again, sorry, I bought the English paper piecing kit off Amazon, the Amazons. So I've been put, it was a, a Christmas themed. So I've been putting together 
little flowers. Yep. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. I don't have a sewing machine. She's making these. Now, you're saying, but Kim, you can't do too much with that. You're right. I can do too much with that. Because to have them all side by side, it'll look really busy. So I went to Walmart, and they have a little fabric section. At least mine does. I don't know if everybody does, but probably. I bought this polyester cotton blend of this burgundy, Christmas burgundy. And I'm going to do little hexes and go all around these flowers and then join them. Again, what I'm going to make with them, I don't know. Amazon, I must stay away from you. Did you know that Amazon sells fabrics? I found these fabrics. It's a package of 50 sheets, 12 by 12 or 10 by 10, something like that. So, yeah, they're all different. There's no duplication in any of the fabrics. Don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Probably go up a, the little hexes that I've got in the kit, they're one inch. I might go one and a half hexy. And uh, do something. Get into trouble somehow, because you know I'm good at that. Anyways, that's it. I'm done. I'm hoping to get back on a schedule to be more frequent. Two months is way too long. You forget things. Even if you write them down, you forget things. So. I want to thank you for putting up with me being so long gone and I will try to endeavor to do better, to be a better floss tuber. Anyways people, it's the Thursday before Easter long weekend. I hope you all have a great weekend and eat all the chocolates because I'd love to but no, I gotta go buy for the grandkids. That's what grandmas do. I am a grandma. Go figure. Oh, God. Anyways, so, hope everything is going well for you. It is going well here for me. And I will hopefully talk to you soon. Be well, everyone. Be happy. Take care. Bye for now.